everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my christmas gift guide i've put together a selection of christmas gifts that are available and also i've picked out some stuff that i already own that i'm going to show you um, to give you some ideas for christmas gifts now these are all gifts for her so the gifts for girls and women um, I haven't done a men's gift guide because I don't have that many men to buy for so um, there will be no point in me buying a load of stuff um, to do one of those so but loads of people on YouTube have done gift guides for men and children and everything else so I'm just going to do one for girls and women I've got quite a lot of things to show you I've got some beauty stuff I've got things ranging in price from under five pounds to sort of in the hundred pounds mark so I'm hoping that in this video there'll be something for everyone's price point and I hope some of you find it useful if you're looking for Christmas gift ideas so I'm going to start off with um the beauty stuff so um no in fact I'll start off with the um little stocking fillery kind of gifts the first one is a pom-pom from Topshop and I've been using this on my bag um, they come in loads and loads of different colours, they're really really on trend at the moment. I think this one was £7 if I remember rightly. Um, you can get them for I think they're 5 7 and £10 for the different sizes. Clip these onto your bags, so so fashionable at the moment, really really cute for winter and it's such a nice little present or stocking filler you could get it in someone's favourite colour or a colour that you know they wear and I just think it's a really really nice present to get I've actually asked for a, another one of these in a different colour for Christmas and the Topshop ones are faux fair as well um, if you want to go all out you can get Fendi ones which are very expensive um, and real fur so it just depends on your preference but I really like these Topshop ones. Next thing is from Jack Wills and this is kind of a bauble but I think you could leave this up all year round and it's a little owl in the Jack Wills colours. This is 7 50 I picked this up when they were having 30% off but you can still get a shoot discount off it's quite inexpensive it's really nicely made and you can put it on your Christmas tree and or you could just hang it up in a bedroom or on a door or anything like that and I just think it's really really cute and it's something you could bring out every year or you could leave up they do have a more Christmassy one but I went for the pink and blue one because it's more for leaving up all year so that's a really really nice gift books are another thing I really really like to get at Christmas these are some I've already got I've had asked for some more books this year but these are some that I've already got to show you first one's a notebook that I got from HomeSense and it just says ideas and inspiration this would be nice for anybody um, that uses notebooks I think most people do use notebooks uh, this was 4 dollars it has a really really nice like leather cover and it's just quite nice inside HomeSense I've got a load of notebooks all different shapes and sizes all different prices um, so if you're looking for a nice notebook for somebody, um, HomeSense is probably the place to go. Actual books now. Um, first one is Choupette, um about Karl Lagerfeld's cat. I got this last Christmas. I really, really enjoyed reading it and looking at it. And if you're a fan of Karl Lagerfeld or fashion in general or cats, I'm sure you would like this. And the other one is a recipe book um, that my mum bought me a couple of months ago and it's mug cakes uh, ready in five minutes in the microwave now for someone who's rubbish at cooking like me this is a really really good present because it's quick and easy the only thing i would say is a lot of these recipes um must be made in a giant mug because i tend to make them in a dish because they're that big uh, but they work really really well i've tried a few recipes now and it's just a nice um little present make a really good secret santa present as well this um work for both men and women as well i suppose um, but yeah, anyone that likes baking or anyone that can't cook or uses the microwave, students this would be a really good present for. It's just a really, really good book um, that I think most people would enjoy to be honest. Another really, really great gift is jewellery and I really like jewellery from The Great Frog so I'm wearing my rings today. I have the small Kuda ring, the rose ring and the ghost warrior ring. Now these are expensive but if you know someone that likes the great frog or is into this kind of jewellery then it's such a beautiful gift to receive and I know the great frog um, sell rings in a standard size and then offer a free resize so you don't even need to worry about sizing for the person that you're going to buy it for and I just think they're a beautiful gift. Um, they're the kind of thing I really really love. I mean I bought these myself but to get one as a gift it uh, would be amazing. They also have necklaces as well and bracelets and they have brought out a little school necklace 
um, which is only £60, which is one of their cheaper items. So um, again, if that's more your budget, um, obviously these are between 120 and I think that one was 170 but there are rings that are more expensive, there are rings that are slightly cheaper, but it's a really, really nice present if you know um, the person you're buying for is going to like it. From TK Maxx is a little makeup bag I picked up and it has these little reindeers on it. It's from the brand Cat's Eye, which you can find in sort of like little cute gift shops. And it was 3 99 instead of £9. And it's all lined in the middle. So it will protect um, the fabric from getting messed up from your makeup or toiletries or whatever you put in here. This one is just a small one. So it's really, really nice to go in a handbag or a work bag or something. Um, I just picked this up. Um, I don't know who I'm going to give it to this year yet, but um, I thought it was too cute to leave in the shop. And again, it's a nice stocking filler or small gift, and it's quite inexpensive too. These are TK Maxx, I've seen them in there, and they are the um, Bayless and Harding sets. This one is a foot care set, it comes with fluffy socks, and a foot lotion and foot soak crystals. It's a nice little pamper gift. Um, these are about four or five pounds, I think, so quite inexpensive. Really, really nice. Um, sort of present for someone that's maybe a bit older or equally someone that's sort of younger that will really enjoy the fluffy socks and it's all nicely done so you just wrap it up and that's it done it's really really nice to give a gift set and yeah I just thought that was a nice inexpensive present you can pick up from TK Maxx another kind of inexpensive but a little bit more expensive present is the cow shed um, Christmas cracker this contains a mini hand cream and a lip balm um, I've talked a lot about the cow shed hand creams and how much I like them. Um, this one I picked up from Cheshire Oaks for £6. This year's version is £10. You can get it from Space NK, Selfridges, um, lots of places. Wherever this sells cow shed pretty much has these. Again, it's really nice and you wouldn't even have to wrap that if you didn't want to. Another sort of beauty gift is from Lizelle and it's their cleanse and polish tube. Now, I bought this um, thinking it was the Christmas one without realising that the Christmas one that the Christmas one wasn't out yet but the Christmas one's the same it's just different design but this is my favourite cleanser of all time my mum really loves it and for anyone that's into their skincare or beauty or someone that suffers with skin or someone that would like to try it I think most people would appreciate this I think it's 19.50 for this one and in it you get the cleanser itself in the 150ml pump size and also some cloths and it's just a really really nice gift um, and I think most people would enjoy this and there's loads and loads of people swear by this stuff and rave about it including myself so it's very very well liked products I'm sure um, most people would get along with this. Next is something a bit more expensive and it's a perfume. Now the one I love the most is Tom Ford Neroli Portofino which is this beautiful perfume. This is very very expensive but um, if you know someone that would appreciate it I'm sure they would love to receive um, some Tom Ford perfume for Christmas. Other fragrances from Tom Ford that I like are the Black Orchid and the Noir Pour Femme which are a little bit cheaper than this one and I think I'm going to pick some of that up for myself in the sales. Um, but yeah this is a really really nice gift. It's cheapest on All Beauty um, I found so I will link it below as with everything else I've mentioned. Another gift set um, which is more of a makeup gift is from Laura Mercier and this is the In The Glow Highlighting Trio. It's £25 and you get in it a mini cream eyeshadow stick a cream blush stick and a highlighter. Now this is mine, I've just put it back in the packet to show you. Um, I've been using these products and they are really really good and I think this is a great value little set. Um, again for a nice present or for somebody that you buy a lot for, maybe a lovely little stocking filler. And I just think you can't go wrong. The colours are really really neutral as well so it will probably suit most skin tones. Another beauty thing that I've mentioned before is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit is their Christmas palette this year. I know loads of people have mentioned this in their gift guides. I've mentioned it before. It's just beautiful. Any beauty lover would appreciate this. It is expensive. It's £65. But if you're into beauty or whoever you're buying for is into beauty then I'm sure they would really really like to receive this. 
The last two items I have to show you are both luxury beauty products and are maybe something that somebody would like but not necessarily buy for themselves, which I think is a really, really nice thing to get as a gift, something that you wouldn't necessarily buy yourself um, because some people feel guilty for paying a lot of money for products. And the first one is a Louboutin nail polish. Now I have this one. This was from the Summer Collection and it's a Scarabay 3 but they do loads and loads of beautiful colours. Um, the red one is obviously the classic one. This is kind of like a duochrome one. You could buy one if someone's favourite colour or if they're a Louboutin lover you could get the red that matches the soles. And they're really really good nail varnishes. It's really really beautiful. Obviously the packaging is quite incredible. Um, but a lot of people wouldn't pay £37, I think these are, for a nail polish for themselves. So it's a really, really nice luxury gift to get. And especially if whoever you're buying for likes really, really luxury things, then I'm sure they would appreciate one of these. And the last thing is Tom Ford lipsticks. Now, I have four of these. Now, they have brought out the Lips and Boys, which are like a miniature version, but I haven't been able to get a hold of any of them, so I'm just going to show you the full-size lipsticks. Um, but obviously, uh, if you can find some of those, they're a little bit cheaper, and they're more of a, a mini gift. They are still quite expensive because they're Tom Ford, but the colours I have, the first one is Coco Ravish, which is a brown one. I've used quite a lot of that. I've had it quite a while, but I really, really like that. That's a no normal finish. Nude Vanille, which is one of the normal ones, which is a nice, very, very nude with a slight pink undertone. Another one that I've used a lot of. And my two latest ones, the one I mentioned in my favourites video and the one I'm wearing now is Pink Tees, which is from the matte range, which is a nice brightish pink. And my latest one, which I picked up from the Harvey Nichols Rewards member sale thing, is Pussycat, again from the matte range, I've not used this yet. This is a brand new one and it's kind of like a deep plummy pink colour. And I just think these are really, really beautiful present. Again, for a beauty lover or somebody that perhaps wouldn't spend 30, I think the 38 pounds now on a lipstick. So yeah, that's everything for my Christmas gift guide. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful or it gave you some ideas for what to buy for Christmas. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next one. And I will see